So instead of walking 20 minutes to our destination restaurant, the old Shack and Shack Burgers in Santa Monica, we're going to Scooter for 10 minutes and we'll arrive there in no time. Sharon's gonna join me for the first time in a while. She got scared after her accident in West in Beverly Hills. She crashed in front of the Cedar sinai Rest Hospital, right in front of the emergency room. That was crazy, right? Back at Shack and Shack Burgers, where they have a vegan options and we really enjoyed it so much, we came back years later to try it again. I got the double royale shack shack burger. So this is a double patty with all the veggies. Sharon got a vegan burger here. Also very good, that's why we came here originally, because they have the vegan options. And don't worry guys, I washed my hands. So everything here has been so delicious so far. We're really excited to try the french fries for the first time. How is it? Do you remember what you ordered last time? Black bean. Oh yeah. How many stars do you give it? Five stars, you guys. Uh -huh. You're so adorable. <laughs> so we ate at Shack Shack Burgers. What did you think? Give us Amazing. an honest review. Five stars. Five stars? Okay. The best burger experience. That cheese they had got all over my fingers and it was so good. It was the vegan Swiss cheese on the mushroom burger and that was like so gooey and delicious. I had a regular Shack Shack Royale burger and comparing it to when I first fell in love with this place, I'd say the quality remains the same. It's still high quality, a really nice quality homemade style burger. However, I think the chef must have been new or something. I feel like he didn't put his love and soul into that cooking as they used to. I remember when we came here before, there there was an old guy and I think he was the owner at the time and he was the one cooking all the burgers. And I remember that was amazing. I remember I tasted the love that he put into the burger, not literally, but I felt like he had a passion for making food. The original cook, it was there when we came the first time. I remember it was so delicious and I felt like I was cooking something he really loved doing. But I think I saw like a black guy with the dreadlocks in the kitchen and I'm not sure if he's the one who cooked our food. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe they hired somebody that's minimum wage cooking the food now. I don't know, but for some reason the burger just wasn't as good. Like for instance, the patties, I asked for them medium well, so I expect them to be cooked well, but I think they were cooked a little too well. Maybe they were busy at the time and I don't know what happened, but they just overcooked it slightly so the patties were a little dry and not as juicy. Also, the patties didn't have as much spice and flavor as they used to. I remember they were more flavorful before. Because of that, I'm giving the Royale burger a four and a half star. Also, it could have used more sauce, but I think overall it wasn't as juicy and flavorful as before when I first fell in love with this place. But I'd still say it's worth uh, going out of your way. If you're at Santa Monica Pier, downtown Santa Monica, it's only a 10 minute drive or Uber ride. So it's definitely worth going out of the way because the next best burger in the area in Santa Monica would be Hi Ho Burger, which we've also reviewed. It's way better than Hi Ho. Well, you never had a burger at Hi Ho. The vegan burgers here at Shack Shack are by far much superior to Hi Ho, for sure. But I'm talking about the beef burger patties. I had a really nice, I think it was an Angus burger at Hi Ho that was really good. But I think the flavor and juiciness is still there. For Shack Shack, I'd be willing to come back. Me and Sharon love this place, especially for the vegan burgers, so we'll always come back. But I don't know if today was an off day, but it just wasn't as good as the last time. The vegan wheat bread was so good. It was like, so good. One thing I did like about Shack Shack is we got the large fries and they gave us a giant huge bowl of french fries. It was like humongous and I don't even know how I finished that. It's amazing how I can eat so much sometimes. I was able to finish it and it was so good. If you're in the area, definitely check out Shack Shack Burgers. It's worth a try, especially if you want vegan burgers. You gotta check this place out. So that's our review. If you guys wanna see all the best restaurants in LA, Dallas, everywhere in the world, definitely subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and look out for more fun videos.